Borussia Dortmund's second game of the Christmas Cup in Bucharest saw them take on Serie A side Fiorentina. Edin Terzic changed 10 of 11 players from the first game. Only goalkeeper Marcel Lotka remained in the starting lineup against a competitive Fiorentina team. After one dangerous dead ball situation, the first real move from open play came courtesy of a brilliant run from Adeyemi. The ball went on to Brandt and Braff, who hit the crossbar. Jaden Braff, the 20 year old Dutchman, firing the ball off the woodwork and it was a let off for Fiorentina seven and a half minutes into the game and a good opening for Dortmund they continued that themselves with another dead ball situation this time Julian Brandt looked as if he was going to deliver this to somebody in the middle instead Brandt managed to find the back of the net but the offside flag would deny Dortmund the opener despite the pyrotechnics in the background the goal was chalked off for offside Papadopoulos was in there and he moved just too fast beyond the line of defence. And whether he got a touch or not was rendered irrelevant by his contribution. Dortmund kept pushing towards the end of the 30-minute first half in this shortened format in the Christmas Cup. The ball came across to Braff again, who had a go from range, but dragged his low shot wide of the target after Julian Brandt had found him in space. And that meant that it was goalless at half-time in the Arena Nazionale in Bucharest. Fiorentina had been pushing hard, but Dortmund came out of the blocks again well in the second half. Semic, the young right-back, doing ever so well to skip past a challenge. Semic got down to the byline, the shot was parried. But Marlon could only head over as the ball came back in his direction at close range and at high speed. Marlon, who's had such a fine winter with plenty of goals in Dortmund's Asia Tour, could not quite steer that one on target to give Dortmund the lead that they were looking for. Down the other end, just four and a half minutes after the interval. Fiorentina would create a chance out of nowhere. A long shot from Mandragora. He slipped as he took it, but it found its way into the back of the net past Marcel Lotka. The turf was proving difficult. Several players were slipping. Their studs were catching in the turf. It happened to the goal scorer, Mandragora, and it might have happened to Marcel Lotka as well. He could not spring back to his right-hand side enough to keep it out, and Fiorentina led early after the break. Ikone, who'd scored plenty of goals in Fiorentina's winter friendlies, he got away down the right-hand side just four minutes later, and then a lovely passing move with Bonaventura ended up with Fiorentina doubling their advantage. A one-two punch from Fiorentina, and suddenly the Serie A team led by two goals to nil with less than 10 minutes played in the second period. It was a nice passing move indeed to bypass the Dortmund defence and Bonaventura kept his cool to fire past Lotka. Dortmund tried to get back into the game but their task was made harder towards the end of this 60-minute match. A second yellow card for Papadopoulos saw him receive his marching orders in the 58th minute. Gopuz was across to try and cut off the danger. A bit of a tug of the shirt from Guptan Gopuz but Papadopoulos would receive a second yellow for finishing it off. And whilst Dortmund looked to try and get back into the game and did build up some pressure at times, there was almost a third at the end. Brandt's giveaway ended with this chance for Arta Cabral, but it came back off the upright. And Fiorentina were not able to make it three. They were so close to scoring another. Lotka might have had it covered with his right foot. But Dortmund were lucky to see it come away off the upright. Dortmund finished with a 2-0 defeat. It was a 1-1, lost one record eventually in their participation in the Christmas Cup in Bucharest. Now it's time to regroup over the Christmas break before Dortmund gear up again for the Bundesliga in January 2023.